This person is total incapable of empathy. I want his family to counsel him, teach him some empathy. He will be a better person if he could become, but he is a black soul. And this is totally unfit for the leadership of this beautiful country. That was the Gold Star father of Muslim U.S. soldier Captain Hamayan Khan killed in Iraq. The father is now calling on Republican leaders to end their support of Donald Trump. Khan and his wife condemned Trump's policies and statements about Muslims, saying the businessman has sacrificed nothing and no one and questioned if Trump had even read the U.S. Constitution. Joining us now again is Haroon Mogula, a uh, senior fellow and director of development at the Center on Global Policy and a senior correspondent at religiondispatches.org. Farhana Kara, executive director of Muslim Advocates, and Miguel Ali, founder of the Constitutionalists for Gays uh, and Immigrants. Farhana, I, I guess I just want to start with you and, and get your general sense of this moment that we're in right now, because this is highly unusual. We have a presidential candidate in this ongoing war of words now with gold star parents who happen to be Muslim Americans. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, I want to thank uh, the Khan family for their extraordinary bravery and sacrifice. I, I mean, I can't just uh, begin to imagine what it must, the courage it takes, frankly, to stand before millions of people while you're grieving the loss of your son who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Uh, Mr. Trump's attacks on the Khan family, a gold star family, is uh, frankly beyond the limits of human de decency and, and really is a new glow in this election campaign. Um, and unfortunately, it's also part of a disturbing pattern for him. Uh, just a year ago, he attacked Senator John McCain, a war hero and a former prisoner of war, uh, because he basically said that he doesn't care for people who, who, are, who are captured. He doesn't think they're war heroes. Um, so, you know, this, this is really testing the, the, the limits of human decency in our country. And I think it's really time for Mr. Trump to do the honorable and the decent thing. He should, first of all, apologize and genuinely apologize to the Khan family and old gold star families. And I also think he needs to make a commitment to just stop stop with the sowing of hate and division and and to and to start to begin to bring americans together not tear us apart so just to be clear the three of you are, are all trump critics so i just want to make sure that the the trump side of this is presented and miguel let me ask you when farhana says that donald trump attacked the cons and that donald trump should apologize what specifically are the attacks being referred to here and what should he apologize for miguel well, I, you know, I, I give credit to the fact that he did call Captain Khan a hero, so thank God for that, because I don't even think he called John McCain a hero, so he properly did recognize that Captain Khan is a hero. Um, it seems like the attack was actually more on Captain Khan's mother, Ghazala Khan, um, which I also think was inappropriate. Um, I would have loved if she had spoken, but I can completely understand why, and it, it was becoming clear that she, she just can't handle talking about her son at this time, and that's perfectly understandable. I will say on this panel, as we congregate within the American Muslim community, it's so great to see Farhana here. Uh, she is such an accomplished woman within the Muslim community with her work in the U.S. Senate under the guidance of Senator Feingold. And to me, she really represents what you will see amongst Muslim women here in America, women who aren't wearing a veil, who are very outspoken, uh, who, look, I think I need to get permission in order from her for me to speak. Um, so I, I, I'm just grateful that Farhana is here, and I'm looking forward to more Muslim women coming out and being outspoken as a result of this event. And in a weird way, I actually think this is the best thing that could happen to the American Muslim community. Um, so I think if Trump is going to apologize, it should be directly to Ghazala Khan, Mrs. Khan. Uh, but I'm excited this dialogue's happening, and I just think the Khan family has become the main villain of the Trump campaign, and I absolutely love that. Uh, she will be. By the way, both Khans will be with us in just a few minutes here on New Day. We'll get a chance to hear from Ghazala and Kazir Khan at length uh, coming up in just a few minutes. You know, Haroon, it's interesting to me. I, I, I can't tell where is this... Uh, a Donald Trump feud with Muslim Americans, and where is this a feud with Gold Star parents? And is there a line between the two here? 
I think it's both, and, and I would echo Miguel and Farhana in, in talking about how he's, he has gone too far and he needs to make an apology. But the fact of the matter is that he has this vision of America where only certain types of people are American. And if you look at the military, if, if you meet people who are currently serving or veterans, you see this incredible diversity. So he thought in his mind that he could very easily deflect criticism by turning it to Hazala Khan and, and trying to make an allegation that a woman who's grieving is actually representative of some sort of Muslim culture that doesn't allow women to speak, um, nothing that I personally recognize uh, in my own experience of Muslim communities. And he went too far because he forgot who she also was. Uh, but he keeps doing this. I mean, let's be honest, every few weeks something comes up along these lines where the entire GOP establishment is forced to confront the fact that their nominee says something wildly outrageous and they're not really sure what to do. Yesterday, Mike Pence's only tweet was about how he was getting a haircut. Apparently, it was like a 24-hour haircut. I don't really know what He put out a was. statement overnight. He did. Where he, he did. did. He, he, he did call Captain Connor It took a while because nobody really knows how to respond to this. That why would you go after a grieving mother? And this is why it, it, this is about more than just Muslims. This is about more than just gold star families. It's about how you treat Americans, how you treat people who serve, and what the bounds of political discourse are. And as exactly as Farhana said, what is the job of a leader? Is it to bring people together or is it to divide them? You know, Farhana, w w what Trump says in tweets, he says, I was viciously attacked by Mr. Khan at the Democratic Convention. Am I not allowed to respond? That's what he said initially. Then later on, actually earlier than that, he said, Captain Khan killed 12 years ago as a hero. But this is about, he says, radical Islamic terror and the weakness of our leaders to eradicate it. So he's trying to shift the discussion back to what he calls the major issue facing the country right now. The, the real issue and what Mr. Khan was talking about last Thursday evening was frankly months and months of Mr. Trump attacking the loyalty of American Muslims. And that is why Mr. Khan spoke for so many millions of American Muslims when he so bravely took the microphone that Thursday evening. And the, these are not just words, John. These words are having real life consequences for Muslim families and their children across the country. I can't tell you how many mothers and fathers I've heard from in the last several months mm. who've talked about how this rhetoric is actually having an impact on their kids who come home from school asking if they're going to be deported if Donald Trump is elected mm. president. All right, Farhana Khaira, uh, Harun Mogul, Miguel Ali, thanks so much.